Hello, uh, friends. Uh, my name is Venkateshwar Ratnanduedi. Today I am going to introduce you about the IBM that is Care Protocol Theme Introduction. Uh, first part, uh, I would like to introduce about IBM Spectre Theme. How, what it is there? But basically, uh, two kinds of uh, IBM Spectre Portal Theme. First is the client side in the aggregation and other is the server side aggregation. I'll be going one by one and as the version grows up, as the IBM Vispare Portal grows up, there's a different form things comes into with the portal versions. So I am going to explain one by one. And uh, friends, this is very thing uh, I would like to tell you this is my this is my experience. I might be wrong. I'm just sharing my experiences, whatever I have learned during my past experience. And if I am wrong, then please comment on this video so that I can update myself as well. So I would love to start from the IBM Vespair Portal theme introduction part, right? And <coughs> first. First, it, uh, I at the IBM Vespair Portal 6.2. I am talking about from IBM Vespair Portal Portal. Rather than I would like to Portal 6. Right? six. So here, this is the IBM thing. Okay, and I'll let me also tell you the what is the location of this thing in the your installed area okay <clears throat> one by one i'll be covering all these things so a spare portal for files let me then install apps thank you see covering over here is that you can is if this is the by default location of the IBM, IBM team in portal 6.0. What is the meaning of this IBM? IBM is this kind of thing, right? Okay. And what is the specialty of this thing? This is the server side aggregation. It follows server side aggregation. Spelling might be wrong. Please forgive me for this. Okay. <clears throat> this is known as the IBM theme. Web Spare Portal 6.0. But it also come into 6 Portal 6.2 Portal 6.1 with the name say Portal. Okay, so the area is just changes, the name was only changes. And this or done, or done. Okay, now. This is also the server side aggregation. What the meaning of server side aggregation? Here I would like to explain you uh, what is the server side aggregation, JSP, and all code, all of the code executed at the server end. end. So, what is the problem with this? problem is that the code is become so messy messy code was there messy code was there right so it is really very difficult to identify and separate the segregate the logics and even there is the lot of load Put on the server. Suppose there, <coughs> I am just taking a scenario. 
suppose for uh, let us let let us consider for a one client request server execute 10 100 tasks right and now the 10, 10 request is coming at the server so how many tasks server will execute is the 1000 tasks and it gradually increases very high so it is really difficult for fair port server to manage and also having the very much load so it's a slow one slow okay and what is the most important thing a uh, programmer and designer have to work together in this particular thing this is a bit, little bit difficult to manage right in web spare portal 6.1 another thinking thing came into the picture that is known as portal portal web 2 web 02 okay what its meaning basically this is supports csa here csa refers to csa the client side aggregator aggregation right okay what is the client side aggregation earlier example that initially uh, suppose that the server is uh, executing 100 tasks for a one request now what the server says hey client could you share my some work so client says why not it's, but the client is saying that I can execute the static part only so here okay client, then server said okay I have a note issue dynamic part I will be executing so please do execute your static part so all this theme is separated into the two parts dynamic content dynamic content and static content right now what happened all the HTML part will be sent to the client side and with the some placeholder these placeholder are replaced with the HTML marker by subsequent Ajax request and data is obtained from the server side by invoking the representational state transfer services provided by the web spare portal what is the music for first HTML JavaScript CSS sent to the client side and after then with the Ajax request with the placeholder they request again to the server hey give me the some this portion give me the another portion then after the dynamic content will be aggregated to the at the client side right the portal web 2 theme also support the SSA rendering mode as a fallback in case of suppose that there is a page or portlet are not supported so it also support the concept of the server side aggregation this theme is uh, later on removed from web spare portal 7. Point. here just i want to show you a placeholder example right there is several placeholder in default js space theme replaced by the client side code for so example c equal if test there is some placeholder on it this value is replaced by HTML content provided by the server at the runtime. Now let comes to the new version from portal 6.1 onwards. If one another theme is coming to the picture, that is na name is portal page builder. It's actually the 6.1.5, right? It's a page builder theme. It's a hybrid. the advantage of the server side aggregation and client side aggregation resulted in the page builder theme this theme was introduced in the 6.1.5 it supports both portlets and widgets enable the portlets to be exposed as the i widget let's latest css3 also 
enabled with the HTML5 feature having have been exploited for a better performance, right? And also one most important the thing is that introduction of introduction. I'm sorry. Web dev. Okay. It's actually web dev. What is the web dev? Web dev is a protocol which helps us. I'm just telling you there is a scenario of the web share portal because I did this in the web share portal only. So I'm just telling the in the context about the web share portal. It's a protocol which helps us to maintain static things and is in separately from without disturbing the dynamic content and dynamic content I'm talking about here is the JSP part right so what is the web dev web dev is just a protocol now come to the portal 7.0.2 here the introduction of the modularized theme. What is the modularized theme and what is the advantages? Previously, all the whatever the client side and server side supports is there in the modularized theme. Apart from this, two things has been in. minimize the download size by giving you a control to specify the capabilities that are needed to a certain scenario or use cases. Minimize the number of requests by the necessary resources. What is all about meaning? Let us consider uh, there was a uh, 10 JavaScript file where the server request for please give me 10 JavaScript file. And it initially what happened? It goes as a request for 10 separate requests. So what this is done in this thing, make a one request for all of those 10 requests so by the, doing this this reduces the number of requests apart from this it gives me the facility suppose that I have a page which requires less resources I suppose there another page which is requires a much more JavaScript file resources I'm talking about the JavaScript file images and etc kind of thing in the in, in. so Initially, what was happened? Initially, all of the resources have to be rendered for a particular theme. By this theme onwards, we can restrict for particular page. Hey, suppose that there is a page one. Page one says that I require all of the resources. So we can configure for executing the all of the resources to provide the all of the resources to page one. And suppose there's a page 2, this is the less featured page. So in this case, you can configure over here that I require a less number of resources. I do not want more, right? Now come to the portal 8. Portal 8 theme has a name with the portal 8. Okay. And uh, in this theme, nothing new as compared to modularized theme. This is similar to the modularized theme. The location of the theme has been changed that I'll be covering in the subsequent tutorials and This is the only the introduction part. I'll be covering Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe me to watch further subsequent tutorials regarding IBM's fair portal and themes. Thank you very much